This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Right-wing media has always been disingenuous. Always. Fox News from the very beginning, while not quite as radical as it is today, because it didn't have the power that it does, um, has always been a force for ill will, bad news. In today's media landscape, there are several now right-wing outlets that... um, are doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down on the Fox News misinformation, disinformation model. Newsmax is one of them, maybe chief among them. Not, it's absolutely as fringy as OAN, just as conspiratorial, but it's got deeper conservative roots having been a long-standing print magazine. And they have hired... A guy named Greg Kelly, who is just the poster child for nepotism. Ray Kelly, the former police commissioner of New York City, is his father. Greg Kelly, uh, I'm ashamed to say, former Marine, took to the airways yesterday and is promoting this idea. I mean, there's a whole bunch in this clip I'm getting ready to play. Too much to really address in, in one in one short video. But he, chiefly what I want to talk about is him trying to say, one, just acting like white supremacy isn't a thing, which is taking a page out of Tucker Carlson's playbook. But also, while rambling about uh, critical race theory, which is not being taught in schools, it's a, a very complex legal framework that's taught in law schools, not elementary schools. He is, is trying to put out there that the Democrats planned the insurrection. The Democrats had a hand in organizing and planning the insurrection, which was an attempt to overturn the free and fair election, which, if it had been successful, would have left Donald Trump in office. All of it makes just a tremendous amount of sense. Watch this. I loved it. I love the trolley. I love King Friday. He's going to show up eventually. I loved it as a child, as a four to seven year old child and occasionally in college. Look, the land of make-believe is for children. It is not for adults, but we are, in Joe Biden's America, they want us to live in the land of make-believe. They're going to pretend, pretend, that black children aren't being killed by other black children. This is happening. This is happening and it can't be denied. This is a crisis. Yet, no one wants to talk about it. No one wants to talk about this. It is happening and nothing is being done. It has become so bad under Joe Biden because, well, he's in so much denial. How about this? The crime wave, the conventional crime. I'm talking about robberies everywhere, shootings and robberies. You know, Black Lives Matter the summer last year, it led to all kinds of help yourself to anything you want in the store. It's racist to make an arrest or even call the cops. This is bad, bad stuff. So in the land of make-believe, Joe Biden's land, none of this stuff is happening. But what is happening, the scourge of white supremacy. Yes, white supremacy is responsible for all this stuff. We had to go back quite some way to find uh, footage of this. White supremacy does exist. There are some idiots who believe in that. And they're off in the woods somewhere. Knock yourselves out. Don't break the law. And if you do, well, you should be arrested. Um, January 6th is another fixture in the land of make-believe that this was the worst thing that ever happened. Not that it was a trespassing event, not that Democrats may have had a hand in setting the conditions and even perhaps setting the whole thing up. There's something to talk about there. All right, all this stuff is going on. All the other stuff is not going on, but they're saying it's going on. And what are they upset about? What is the Joe Biden Justice Department upset about right now These wonderful Americans who have been showing up at school board meetings and speaking passionately about the welfare of their children and speaking out against the corrupt and hateful critical race theory. Did you know that they have alerted the FBI, not to the bad stuff about critical race theory, but to those wonderful Americans who have been turning out at the school board meetings and saying, Enough is enough. Stop doing this. Stop destroying our kids. All right. 
obviously there's a lot there. One about the parents who are just doing their patriotic duty to stand up for their children at school board meetings. They're, they're actually physically threatening school officials, leveling threats of, of violence. We've witnessed, I've done videos on the guy. I just need 10 strong men. But to act like the land of make-believe, we had to go way back into the annals of the, of the video footage to find this because, you know, white supremacy is not a problem in America. It's just people out in the woods. While his cohort, a member of his cohort, Tucker Carlson, every night goes on and promotes real white supremacist conspiracy theories about white genocide and the great replacement theory, the white replacement theory, about uh, a forcible hijacking of American demographics. These are long-standing racist conspiracy theories that Greg Kelly, while talking about uh, uh, pretending that white supremacy is not a real threat in America, is acting as a white supremacist, is showing his true colors talking about the crime wave while showing images of only black people. Vile, reprehensible, racist trash, you are Greg Kelly. You sickening coward, you boot-looking simp. And then, of course, this. January 6th is another fixture in the land of make-believe, that this was the worst thing that ever happened. Not that it was a trespassing event. He's saying that the January 6th insurrection was a trespassing event. Over 140, almost 150, maybe more, police officers were injured by the MAGA mob. In fact, this image, while he has it on screen talking about it, look at all these Democrats in this photo who are taking part in the insurrection. Not that it was a trespassing event, not that Democrats may have had a hand in setting the conditions and even perhaps setting the whole thing up. There's something to talk about there. Greg Kelly, you are a moron. You failed at Fox News. You went on to local New York TV. You failed there. Apparently being a credibly accused rapist. Doesn't bode well for careers, does it, Mr. Newsmax? A disgusting coward you are representing reprehensible Republicans. Bootlicking Trump types. Gross. But if there's a bright side here, if there's a silver lining, it is... <laughs> That if uh, it comes out of Newsmax, you know the opposite is true. If they're screaming and making lots of noise and clanking pans together to try to get your attention about the pretend world that Democrats set up the, the insurrection, you know that it, that it is not true. Newsmax is being sued for their lies and defamation. Disgusting. What do you think, though? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to know what you think. I'd also love to know um, where we go from here. What is there a solution? Because up to this point, I have not been able to pinpoint one. Please sound off. You can also sound off on social media. You can connect with me there. I would appreciate that. And if I bring you value, if you appreciate what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, you can um, support my work by going over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, or click on the join button below this video and become a channel member right here on YouTube. I love you guys. I appreciate you spending time with me as often as you do. Subscribing, liking, commenting, blah, 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 doing all the things. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.